So here we are back in the baling technology section and we've got various methods of moving bales. Uh, round bales, we have the Ursus, the, uh, the one that has been there in the game, in previous games. Picks up eight bales, a nice piece of machinery, stacks them up quite nicely. We have this round bale trailer, um, cheap as chips. It has to be manually loaded. Um, and it looks, I think it takes six bales, but we'll check. It doesn't actually say on there, does it? I think it takes six, maybe eight, but I'm sure it's six. This one here, um, don't think that's, no, you don't need anything like that. I haven't tried this one at all, so we're going to give this Ballon Boy guy a borrow. Um, and we've got enough money to do that, so, right, we just need to keep an eye on the time. So we don't get carried away. Wide tyres or standard tyres will stick standard tyres. We're mostly going to be on the highway anyway. Right, let's have a look at what we've got here. I really haven't even looked at this before. That's going to carry three by the look of it. Okay. Well, I know where there's three bales that need picking up. So let's give those a pick up with this. very unusual looking thing I can see kind of what it's doing right we've got unfold ballon boy lower ballon boy and then we've got some what's that adjusting that's a ah, right okay that's adjusting the rear and is that, is that actually to tip it Right, we'll, we'll have to, well let's go up, I don't know, we'll have to get some bales in it and then we'll see how we get them out. Right, where do I leave them? Right, we've got a nice stash over here and there are three at the end of this field. Um, if you look at the bigger map, we've basically done almost a quarter of the uh, <laughs> the map. Not not quite, but we've done the whole of town, sort of south of the railway. Pretty much everything you can without getting quite adventurous now I've just actually got to remember where I left these bells there they are over behind this cow facility so right unfold ballon boy alright so is he uh, I see it's, I thought I'd left three down here oh they've rolled away there's one in the field I'm sure I left three here so is it literally like this Lower. Aha. No, I'm well out of shape. Right. right. Right, okay. Feeling more confident. No. Right. What on earth am I supposed to do? Is this really man? Ah, no. Is it literally a case of firing them down the chute? Okay. Sorry, whoever's field this is. Um, I was sure I left three bells over here. Maybe not. Right, so we've got to get this one in the chute. He's going to carry more than three as well, isn't he? Okay. No lift. Okay, now I realise what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, I've had to tidy up in a little plate. Just look at the hitching point on that trailer. What? It's very excited. I think he's just pleased to see me. Got him. Right. I had a little explore. Right, so left bumper. We can tilt the trailer up and down. So if it's tilted back, they stay in a bit better. 
and we do need to lower him. Be careful you don't open up this back flap by you moving the right stick left and right. In fact, right, because then they just fall out the back, because I found that out too. Right, so we need to lower and be much more gentle than I was being. I'm guessing we just literally pour these out the back to empty it. Right, can we even get one more? <laughs> okay, I'm not really sure this is getting the old Dadek seal of approval. Not from its first go. Not if you're in any kind of time um, situation anyway. No. Can it really be that tricky to use in real life? Or was I just being hopelessly bad? Please let me know in a comment. I don't like the way it's just going to literally, I'm guessing, pull them out. Open the rear. Lower. Drive forward. So you get a nice row. It will make a very nice row of bales. be really good for setting up a racetrack like we do in the summer, doing the autocross. Perhaps. But I'm not a fan of that. We're just going to sell that, if you don't mind. I might get back to that in another playthrough. Oh, I bought it, didn't I? Of course I did. I hope we get all the money back. We may have lost a little. Oh, well. And we didn't actually lose any money on that contraption. Now, that wasn't really my favourite. We've got... I'm going to try a couple more options to get those bales collected up. We're going to go for this bio belt spike. So we're going to buy him. Main colour... Two spikes, four spikes. We'll go four spikes, definitely. And as a slightly less aggressive looking alternative, we're going to go for these double uh, round bale picker ups. Again, I'll credit all the mods in the description for the video because I have no chance of keeping track. Now, Let's get in here. These just connect directly to your tractor. I've left the front loader arms on deliberately just so you can see that you can multitask. You could even, if you wanted to be quite um, cheeky, perhaps carry a bale around on the spikes or with the grippers as well. Right. If I get over here and find there's five bales, then I'm going to regret that I didn't just grab one of those right now, actually. Okay, we're going to load the front one up first. Here we are. Found the bales. This one, much easier to load than that trailer. Well, I guess because it's directly loaded onto your tractor. Um, he says not doing that either. What I'm actually going to do, we're going to get that one first. And B, raise him up. And we're going to get that one. Raise him up. And then we can put on the straps. And I hope. There you go, lift the bucket a little bit. Might be a little bit naughty from a safety visibility point of view. Right now, <laughs> this angry looking thing at the back, literally just a spike and it goes up and it goes down. Um, that is it. So you literally just get it flat. You can get two on here quite nicely and then just use your stick with the left bumper to raise him up and there you go how much quicker than that was me getting three of them in that trailer I will have another go to be fair it's a nice mod 
Um, any mod is a good mod as far as I'm concerned. It's the invention and the options that they give us is, is very gratefully received by me. This is more my style, to be honest. Um, particularly good on some maps where you don't have to move stuff around too far. This can be by far the quickest way of doing it. But there you go. There's another option. So I actually found another bale of grass I forgot to wrap. And he's been out longer. See, he's lost a bit more bulk. So it's our third transportation method of the day. And it is Old Faithful. The Ursus Bale Trailer. Which will pick up eight bales. And stack them very nicely. And it only costs about $3,000. Less than $3,000 more <laughs> than that contraption. Also of note, we have adopted the bell spikes. They're under $1,000. We're going to keep them. Um, they will come in handy. They'll save us a little bit of time. And they're so cheap. One of the uh, bits of equipment we can keep hanging around. And they match the tractor beautifully. Also very good for farm defence, I should think. Right. You can actually get around the field quite quickly with this. The only real pause in it picking up is it when it has to move the two the two bales back in its little stack and that that's it fold him up and off you go we're going to take these straight back up to the farm we'll be back right we're back to the farm with the load and we will leave the bales here they're wrapped anyway um, so the weather can't harm them even if it tried and that would apply if it was uh, wrapped bales of straw or wrapped bales of hay <clears throat> Look at that, a lovely neat stack of eight. And off we go. Job done. Eight more bells to collect. Okay, and we're back in the shop. And our final loan for the day, although it's a very cheap, very useful piece of equipment, is this BBM trailer. It's in the low loader section of the store. It does have fastening straps, which none of the rest do, um, which is what makes this quite versatile. Right, and here's the reason we wanted that particular piece of equipment. It doesn't look too neat, I'll grant you that. Um, we did have a little bit of a trouble with the baler. Sorry, a little bit of concentration going on. Right, we dropped him there. The wrapper we will have to come back and get tomorrow. But apart from that, if we can keep this baler safe on the way home... And that saved us a little bit of petrol. I'm not sure how we're doing on the half hour, to be honest. We'll sort that out when we get back. But it's such a cheap trailer, to be honest. If we uh, if we end up getting charged a little bit for being overly official. Oh, no, I've actually attached to the baler there. Be quite careful here. That's the baler. <laughs> that wasn't quite what we wanted. Right, that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Right. No, Mr. Carr. Right, here we go. Now these bales are obviously held on by the tension straps. The mower's pretty okay. I'm sure the baler is too. You just need to be a little bit careful on the corners, as you may have seen in an earlier episode. Um, there was an incident with this trailer uh, with a cedar. But there you go. Yeah, I think this, you've already seen it twice in this playthrough. I think this piece of equipment for its price is going to prove to be a, a very versatile, useful piece to have on pretty much any farm. And here we are. We've sold the trailer back to the shop. Um, we didn't lose a penny on it. We made it probably just in not less, <laughs> much less than a half hour. It did take me a little while to get the bales on. And there's always some faffing when I'm doing it. There you go. We are already up here. We need to go and get that wrapper tomorrow, but we'll be at the shop probably trialling something else. We'll just have a little quick check-in on the brood. Um, everything's absolutely hunky-dory. We've got another 20% of a bale of uh, sh wool, which is fantastic. And the pigs and the sheep both need a bit of a tidy up. So we're going to head in that direction and do it now. We do have a little bit of time left at the end of today. It's exactly 6 p.m. So the staff would be knocking off now. If we had any employed, but we need none. Um, so we're just going to drop our lovely looking new spikes off there. 
we don't need these ones either. We're going to get the bucket. Right, um, I've been thinking, and as I mentioned in the, the last episode, um, about the manure that the pigs produce and the fact we've got water, um, greenhouses, etc. And um, there is an option. I shall show you when we get to the top. It's basically placeable fruit trees. Now, when we look at the figures, they look a little bit um, out of kilter, especially when you compare them to the, the greenhouses that are in the game. I've had a bit of a chat on the forums and in uh, Farmer Climb's Discord group, and uh, apparently they do get through the manure quite quickly. They do need quite a lot of care, um, and they get through the water, so you know they do take some time. And also to season them up. I am going to get a couple, really, just to see how they work. We'll learn how they work because I, you know, I like to learn new bits of the game and uh, see how we get on with them. But to make them more seasons orientated, because otherwise they're just going to be making uh, money every day. I'm only going to give them water um, during the summer, i.e., now um, until the end of autumn. Um, because if they've got no water, uh, they have no productivity. And then if you give them manure, it increases their productivity. So that is what we're going to do now. And we're going to use this area right here. So, into the placeables. I had to take some of these mods out, actually. Um, some of them, the fences and walls have got so many components. They make the menu a mile long. Right. Up here somewhere, that wasn't them, was it? Nope, that's the placeable trees. Right, apple trees or orange trees? Apple trees seem very much more appropriate for some reason, so we're just gonna we're gonna put one here. That'll look nice. And one there. Um I guess these trees won't get the season kind of effect in terms of their foliage, etc. But that's something we're just gonna have to live with. Right, so don't I don't know. I've not place these before so do i get water fill level 0% when you oh right okay so you literally just walk up to them let's oh there's a stump there silly me <coughs> we'll talk about stumps soon actually next time we're down by the timber yard we'll definitely talk about stumps um right so water first and as I said, with no water, no productivity from these placeable fruit trees at all. That's what I understand. So, here we go. How much will it take? Started off with a full tanker. Only 500. Oh, look. And did you see? Let me get rid of that help screen. As I give it water, see, fruit suddenly appears like magic. Oh, I like those kind of trees. So that's 500 water each and they're full. So we'll see how long they last. We'll check on those tomorrow. Oh, I could have done the manure whilst I was over there. Always worthwhile just topping up the animals. Never want them to run out of water, they die. Oh, crikey. I had my first couple of playthroughs in seasons, and obviously I was really trying things out, but even so, I mean, I know there are any pixels, but when that message pops up, eight pigs dead. Um, oh, it's not very good. Should I have a conscience about digital farm animals? I don't know. In fact, I felt... <laughs> I mentioned it in the last video. Was it the last one? No, the one before that, when I was getting the dead wood about forestry in Bjornholm and in the end I realised I looked around the woods I'd absolutely decimated them with my front loader I felt so bad I kid you not I actually went round and ground out every stump I'd made and replaced it with a newly planted tree and that was hard work in that in that countryside right where are we sorry I got completely sidetracked again let's try some of this I quite like playing in tractor I'm certainly not anti in the slightest uh, no I quite like it some of those older vintage tractors as well the old open top ones they're quite fun to just trundle around in right I'm gonna hit this trailer because as I've said before my depth perception with these front loaders is awful there he is 
Right. So there's some... Has that gone? That has gone to the tree. Look, it's... It's there. So how much did he take? About a thousand. So 500 water and a thousand manure per tree is filled up at about six o'clock. Yeah. Okay, we can get a little bit more. What do we need? Not much. Eh? About 150. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then we can also keep a little eye. I shall check in a moment whether I've got a figure for uh, manure production because then we could actually if this is something we might get interested in and uh, why not the pigs produce manure we could sell it we could fertilize with it but it's just not worth hanging it out <laughs> to wait till we've got enough to use as a fertilizer so um, no we need to maximize the production of the pigs because we know it's something that's lacking right over to the sheep so here we are, the sheep are very happy. It is a lovely, lovely evening. Oh, hello. Let's have a look. Have we actually... We still have a completely full food bar for the sheep. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. I wish I could remember exactly which day I put them in on. Well, actually, I can check on the finance screen. Can we see back to when we bought the animals? Yeah, it probably was about five days ago. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. But my point is, yeah. <laughs> and I like, literally, how many? There's only actually five bales in there. So we got 20,000. No, that's still like nearly two years worth. Um, and this tree, I'm going to take this down while we're here. And I'm probably going to leave the tractor up here for the night walk into town along the banks of the lake right now in theory i'm still thinking it's going to fall exactly where i want it to fall but we've got this angle there are some trees at some very funny angles around the map i don't know if i'm allowed to cut those down we'll see right hopefully which way is it going to go yes <gasps> no is it going to roll in the lake oh fantastic Right, we'll bring the claws next time we come over here. Get that one over. Collect it all up. Make the bad bit disappear while I remember. No, where is it? It's odd. There you go. All gone. What does the whoops to stay about dead trees? I wonder. Switch it on. It still counts as a fir tree. Ooh. And I'm sure that one little stubby bit, the uh, the man at the timber yard is very strict. I'm sure if there's uh, any of those left on it, you may as well have left them all on. I do like it. Isn't it? The other thing with playing Seasons and the way that it's encouraging me to really do different stuff. I, you know, I've been around parts of this map, apart from the whole Deadwood hunt. And I literally did walk around the whole map um, doing that, bouncing off the boundaries in places. Um, it's taken me to places on this map and to spend time in places on this map that I never really have gone before. Um, sheep, to be honest, I always found a little bit too passive and it's all mowing. And, uh, no, I enjoy some aspects of the whole sort of cattle rearing, as I've mentioned. Um, and I'm loving it in Sosnovka on hard with my little cows. And, um, no, I'm really liking it. You know, these some of these views that I've just never seen. I'm appreciating the maps more and more. And then as you get the seasonal changes, um, it all kind of changes. The palette changes. It's, it's very good. Um, it's certainly... I mean, it's given the game a whole new lease of life for me in this period, waiting for Farm Sim 19 to come out, which sounds quite exciting. Um, I try not to waste too much time on teaser trailers, etc. Uh, I kind of don't believe the hype, as they used to say in my day. Um, no, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, of course. 
and I shall be there day one. But for now, I am absolutely loving this. I am loving my sheep, my cows, my pigs, um, and especially my mango yellow tractor, the mighty Voucher. It's been a long day. No, we won't worry. It's going to be a lovely night. I actually, I mean, it does say, and I don't know if this is another console stroke PC issue, but... um. I've not noticed, because I do keep a note of such things, it, it making much difference whether you've kept something indoors or outdoors, whether you bother to clean it or not. In terms of its maintenance and its value, um, I did try some experiments and they really didn't show that. So if you know better, let me know. Um, right, we're going to leave it there. I am going to wander off and meet my buddies over in town for a, a nice cold beer and um, a burger or something delicious such as that. Um, Thanks very much for joining us again. Tomorrow ooh, is another day. Um, we're going to do a bit more mowing and we're going to try out some different equipment. Um, and I've also found out quite a, what sounds like a, a revolution in bale wrapping. So we will be trying that out in the next episode. But um, we've also got other bits and bobs to do. Thank you very much for watching again. Uh, comments always welcome. Like it if you liked it or dislike it if you dislike it, to be quite honest. And, um, yeah, subscribe if you want to keep in touch. Um, any ideas, any little suggestions, any advice, you know, I'm very, very open. Thanks a lot. Goodbye and take care. See you soon.